Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I'm going to show you seven great websites where you can download stylish pictures for free. They are great not only for designers but also anyone who wants to make a nice looking banner or flyer, as I believe having these free images available will make a big difference for your design work. You can buy them, but we all like free stuff, right? So, in this video, I'll be talking about these seven websites and the best things about each of them. Alright, let's get started. First up is Unsplash. Actually, this is what I use to download the images I use in a lot of my YouTube tutorials. It's a free image website that has one of the largest image collections. But it's not all about numbers, the picture quality is really good too. And there are tons of really great ones. There is this one right here, with someone putting a book away, and there's a little filter on this one. Lots of them have colors and filters applied already, so it's really awesome. So they've got some professional photographers who took all these pictures and uploaded them here for us to download. And I find new stuff keeps getting uploaded every day, so you will never get bored scrolling through on Splash. In terms of my recommendation, at the top the pictures can be split into categories for better searching, so definitely take a look at these. Right now I'm looking at the wallpaper tab. If you select the picture and then scroll down, it will even show you similar images. You can download pictures from here too. There's also a search bar at the top that you can use. So if you're looking for pictures of animals for instance, you can just type in animals here. As an example, let's go ahead and download this wolf picture here. By the way, if you scroll down, you can see some cool similar wolf pictures at the bottom. But we are going to download the top one. To do that, we are going to press this green button on the right, the free download button. This will then start downloading the image for us, and you can check whether it's done or not using the download manager at the top. The downloaded picture will be sent to your files, so let's open the file. You can find the photo label downloads on the left hand side, and that's where the file is. If you don't have the folder, you probably have iCloud Drive somewhere on the left, so press it and then go to the downloads folder. And that's where you can find images downloaded. So please check here and see them. By the way, you can also change the display mode in your file app. If you switch from icon mode to line mode, you can make it display your files like this. When you press the picture, you see the file name, the size 4000 times 2600, and the date and time you downloaded it. So if you want to check these, make sure to set your file to line mode. So we just downloaded our picture using the free download button, and another way we can save the picture is by pressing and holding the picture. This brings up a picture menu where we can choose to save the picture in our camera. Before we save it in the file app, but we can also save it in the camera app like this. I just opened Unsplash in my internet browser, but there's an app too. It's totally free, so download it and give it a try. The app is exactly like the website, it shows you a lineup of really cool images like this. When you want to download an image in the app, press this arrow button in the bottom right, and this will let you download the image. And the images downloaded will be sent to your camera app and not to your folder, so be sure to check there. Second on the list is a website called Pexels. Just like Unsplash, this is also a collection of really stylish looking pictures. It seems like they got a lot of poultry pictures though. It has a few videos slip in between for a good measure. So if you're looking for nice vertical portrait pictures, this might be a good website to check out. Unsplash has more horizontal or landscape photos, while Pexel has more portrait photos. A cool thing about Pexel is the search function. I said that with Unsplash you can only search in English, but with Pexels you can search in Japanese too. 
You can even search adjectives like sad, and it will show you many relevant pictures. Like here, we got a lot of pictures of guys crying and being sad in the darkness. So I find being able to search up a bunch of different things makes Pixel really unique. So if you're interested, please give it a try. Third up is a website called Reshot. Unlike many other websites, this one focuses not only on really stylish pictures, but rather on the familiar feeling pictures of real life. It's got a lot of funny pictures too, like this. I'll say many of the pictures you can find here are kind of weird. I got the impression that a lot of these pictures would go viral on Instagram. For example, there are some tabs at the top here. You can search pizza in the food tab, and we get a bunch of pictures with an Instagram filter vibe to them. A lot of them are of fashionable models going about their daily lives. This one of the women holding a pizza inflatable is pretty funny too. There's quite a few funny pictures to be found here, so if you're looking for some unique photos, definitely take a look here. The fourth one is called Pixavay. This one also has pretty stylish photos, but its true claim to fame is how many videos it has. If you go to the top, there is a tab labeled videos. Click on it, and it will show you a bunch of free videos that can be downloaded in the common domain. They are all around 1 minute long. For example, here we have, I believe these are goats or sheep, as one of the videos. In Pixabay, you can download these slow, leisurely videos for free. What I usually do is when I make a presentation or keynote, I put a video in the background and some text up front. This gives the presentation feeling of motion. Of course, you can use it in a lot of different ways. It's free and very useful, and if you put these videos into something, I think it will have a nice impact. So please give a try yourself if you're interested. Fifth on the list is a website called Nappy. It's written on the top here too, but it's a website that collects pictures of people with black or brown skin. It's a website where you can find and download pictures of people as the main subject. I find it's really cool. So if you're looking to use pictures of brown or black people, hop on over here. The picture of this woman, for example, is really cool, the way they emphasize her muscles. Whenever I want to study how to draw these things, I always use Snappy. I find it difficult to draw pictures of people and their bodies, but having these pictures as a reference is a big help, so that's how I use them. The sixth one is called Kaboom Pics. I hope my pronunciation was accurate, Kaboom Pics. But anyway, what's cool is that you can download these colorful pictures for free. I think a lot of girls will like these pictures. It's got pictures of food, women, and lifestyle pictures. It's got kind of an Instagram feel. Another cool thing is how many similar photos it has. For example, when I select the photo here, below that you can find a bunch of similar photos. Like these different versions taken from different angles. And this kind of feature is something you usually have to pay for, but if you just want the same picture taken from a slightly different angle, then Kaboom Pix is for you. So if you're looking for these pictures taken from different angles or more layback pictures, make sure to check this website. Finally, for our seventh website, I wanted to highlight a Japanese one. This is a website called Find47, and it's really cool. It's a website where you can download beautiful pictures of famous sites from all of Japan's 47 prefectures. They are organized according to each prefecture, and I just searched Kyoto where I grew up, and you can see so many results popping up. For example, here is a picture of Tori Gate, a shrine entrance. You can download lots of high-quality pictures here. 
And if you scroll down, they even give you a map, options for what size to download, and coding for when you want to copy the picture into a website. It's super easy to use. Right now I'm looking at Kyoto pictures, but even with just Kyoto, a bunch of pictures will come up. The colors are just so vivid and beautiful. I think these are definitely taken by a professional photographer. So I think this website is great for people who want pictures of Japan or who are interested in seeing the pictures of Japan. So if you're interested, please check it out. Alright, that was my quick introduction to these 7 free image websites. How was it everyone? I'll put a link to all of the websites in the description below. So please see and bookmark them if necessary so you can check them later. Alright, that's all for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad. So please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!